Hello curls, it's Yolanda Renee. Today I'm going to be doing finally a living room tour. I don't want to do a full apartment tour because it would take forever and it's crazy because although I feel like I am definitely a neat freak, it's like so hard to keep everybody in check like Devin and the girls and now Finn. So it's like my apartment is never completely how it's supposed to be because I'm like constantly running around people, picking up stuff. But the living room is completely done. I don't have to add anything else in the living room. So I figured we could start the tour off with the living room. And I am going to be giving you guys a lots of details and tips. I am not a professional interior designer. I'm just an artsy girl that pretty much can use my creative side to complete anything um, to my liking. Get right into this video. I don't know if this is gonna be really a vlog or just a video. It's probably a little bit of both because you guys know my vlogs. I like to have substance in my vlogs. You guys to be inspired, get some tips and all of that. So it's basically like a YouTube video and a vlog put together. That's the color palette of my living room is basically white. We have some gold, we have some gray, and the other thing is texture is so important. So you see I have the gold, gold sequins, and then of course texture with this faux fur, which you'll see a lot of faux fur in my living room. We also have some green, um, which is kind of like an accent color. I would say that the gold and the green are accent colors but even the gray too it's just a lot going on but it's very muted so i feel like it's not like oh too much you know you'll notice here i have some stripes um with my lamp we have a print on my chairs but it's still green and white the lamp is gold and white but the prints make it just look more chic um the faux fur adding texture to your room the sequins that's more texture gallery wall is what i think most people call it a gallery wall the fun thing is the items don't have to be the same size it doesn't have to be perfect um you can just use different ones and make it however you want to it doesn't have to be nice and precise or anything but i do have an idea for you where it would um be perfect if you want it like a perfect rectangle or whatever so what you can do which i'm not doing in this video because i just figured this out not too long ago and i may redo the wall with this technique um i'll maybe find an image or something so you can see what i'm talking about so what you want to do is you want to have your pieces that you want in your gallery lay them down on a flat surface like the floor of how you want these to be okay once you have that you can use like um you can use wrapping paper, you can use any type of paper that's going to be big enough to basically trace out each item or each canvas that you're putting up. Tissue paper, whatever paper you want to use, but then you're going to lay that tissue paper, wrapping paper on each canvas and cut it out. The, you're going to do like trace it around so you want it to be exactly the same size as each of your canvas prints. Then you can tape up those cutouts and tape it up onto your wall. Once it's taped and it's exactly your layout, you can use your nails to go ahead and put the nails up. And then you can just rip the paper off and all the nails are going to be where they're supposed to be for your gallery. Then you can take the actual canvas and put it up and it's going to be perfect. Um, it's so, and even if your canvas prints, like some of my prints have, um, have the little spokes or whatever, or the little hooks where the nails are supposed to be, you can actually trace that on your paper on the floor to make sure you know where those hooks need to be or where the nail needs to be. I think I'm going to redo my whole gallery wall with that technique. I saw it on Pinterest and I was like, even though I didn't do it, I'm going to let them know. Here's my gallery wall. As you can see, it's not perfect. And that's why I feel like I may redo it so I can get it to be at least um, a little bit more straight. First painting, when you love what you have, you have everything you need. That one is from Home Goods. This painting, this world map, and it's metallic. I got this, I found this at Ross. 
and Ross has a lot of cute art pieces that are very inexpensive I think I spent $20 on this and it's a very nice size this little guy which is the wire um, art piece that I was telling you about this I found at Hobby Lobby and I'm pretty sure it is still there so you should definitely check out Hobby Lobby for some art pieces this smaller metallic piece this is um, canvas but also like a shadow box type of piece and I think that is a stone in the center it is so pretty I love this and I found this at um, at Ross as well yeah Ross isn't it cute all right, and then this one used to be in my office area, and I found this one from Marshalls. Those together, it's all gold and white, basically, and that one has a touch of color. But yeah, all of these are different sizes. They're not anywhere near neat or anything, but it just goes together. It goes together really well. The next thing I want to talk about is your bookcase. I think it's so important to have either a bookcase and even the tips that I'm about to give you are great for um, coffee tables, end tables, anything, any type of surface where you're going to be presenting like little knickknacks, okay? See behind me, I have my bookcase. This bookcase is actually from Ikea and I will link everything below in the description box. But I kind of think I want to go get a second one, but it's pretty big and I'm able to present like some little knickknacks in a creative fun way um, basically on here I have some books I have some little decorative like little figurines greenery greenery is so important some examples of greenery are like these little guys which you guys these are fake plants and I got these from a little store called roses where I live it's so like uh, the cheapest store you can find but they have really cute things in there you can find some good um, deals every once in a while here are a few other ones that I got from roses as well these plants I also got from um, Target and actually came in a set of three so I do have another one sitting over here on my TV stand and they look so realistic because it has like kind of like the um, the, I don't know it's like little brown pieces almost as if they're like dying a little bit so these are so realistic because girl my plants they die for real <laughs> this taller plant here I actually got this from Target as well online I forgot how much it was but I'll put it on the screen or in the description box but this thing is it looks so real and I did have a real plant like this and it was from Walmart but it died so yeah recently died the one from Walmart and it was um I had it since March so it did pretty well but then I was like you know what I'm just gonna get a fake one I found this at Target so there we go another green plant it's fake it's plastic like real fake but the dirt looks really realistic in it um i got this from ross most of the places i shop are ross marshall's target home goods ikea and i think that's it and hobby lobby and ollie's oh my god there's so many stores i'll have to make a list of all the stores i'll put the list right here of my favorite places to shop very inexpensive i barely spent anything on this type of stuff um so this plan i actually put on my coffee table which i'll show you my coffee table the coffee table i got it from target as well online and it was shipped just the other day um so most of the footage you've seen of my living room i had a different table um but this one came in so i did refilm a little bit because this table just brought everything together um and on that table since it's gold and glass um and it's a statement piece of its own i didn't want to put a lot of stuff on there so i basically put this coffee table book that i got from ollie's i get all my books from ollie's they're very inexpensive and they're really good books it's an oprah winfrey show um book and the color scheme of the cover actually goes with the living room so i was like i definitely have to use that so i just put one coffee table book on there i put this plant on there and as well as this just this little cute pineapple that's white and gold that matches with the whole color scheme so yeah that's all i did for my coffee table two i found this at ross and it's really realistic this one isn't plastic it's more like a paper I don't know I don't even know what it is but it feels real it's nice 
it's kind of messy because some of the ones like fell but it's okay and i have this on one of my coffee tables as well well my end table the other thing that you would want to do on your coffee tables end tables or your bookcase is have some type of like figurines sculptures this is a perfect example of a figurine or sculpture i don't even know what to call it but it's just something really cute and fun and again this goes with my gold theme and these are great to as book toppers set of books um it's cute to just put a little topper on top of those books just to make it really fun and just creative um it's very visually appealing so yeah that is an example of a book topper i really love this set because um it's black gray and gold and white so even though i don't have any black in my living room i don't mind it because it is kind of like a shade of gray a darker gray you know just think of the color wheel um so yeah and i love that these are um you know um, black power basically <laughs> and i found these books at ollie's this one is the jay-z decoded book and then the topper is gold so it goes really well with the whole theme loves it this is actually not greenery it's actually a little rose plant and i found this plant at marshall's as well these ones are kind of expensive if it has faux flowers they're more expensive um but yes i found this book at um ollie's as well it's an essence book and it's really cute i love it great book toppers or little knickknacks that you can have on your coffee table your bookcase whatever um some great options are some plants greenery flowers um figurines um i even have a a globe up there um so yeah those are all great options and yeah um i think that's all the advice i have for bookcase bookcases I also think that lighting is super important and as you can see here this light here I got from Target and it's called a pendant light. I think pendant lighting is such a nice little I don't know kind of like a minimalistic type of feel to it. Um, so this one actually has three lights and um, you hang it from the ceiling. Devin helped me with that girl because our ceilings are pretty high so I couldn't even get to it even on a stool. Um, so yeah, so pendant lights are really cool. Here is another pendant light. And it's a dome shape. It's gold. It's so cute. Um, but I haven't hung this one up yet. And I will be hanging it up in um, my little nook area over there where I just have this cute little um, chair. Um, and the chair is just, uh, I mean, it's so, it's an inexpensive chair that I actually sprayed the legs gold and um then it just made it come together and then this little gold little cube is from target and they're on clearance right now for forty dollars um i also have a little um a little end table with drawers i found that at marshall's and it actually is damaged so i got that for twenty dollars the original price was a hundred dollars and then that lamp is from y'all this lamp i found at ollie's they had a whole bunch of them i found it at ollie's they were $19.99 i was like yes ma'am and i think at that time i was really strapped for cash so i was only able to get one and i was like i'll just go back and get another one another time i went back y'all they were gone and then i swear maybe like Six months later, I found them at um, Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby's price is $89.99. Like what? The good thing is um, at Hobby Lobby, on their website, they have a 40% off coupon all the time. But still, that's crazy. Like, no. I don't know why they marked them up that much. But anyway, pendant lights. So much fun. Um, I also have a few other lights that I'll show you and um the one target lamp right here that one um i forgot how much it was i'll put it in the um bio or the description box 
this other one here I actually got it from Walmart and it was brown and I spray painted it gold I need to get the spray paint so you guys can see what I use to spray because I pretty much spray painted everything gold in my house the gold spray paint that I use on pretty much everything I spray painted my whole living room gold so most of the items that I picked out if they were not gold I would spray paint them gold for example I have a mirror a vanity mirror that was silver from Target I taped up the mirror and then spray painted it with this and um, I have a lamp that I spray painted I have um, oh I spray painted also my globe I spray painted that because the the base of it was actually brown and I spray painted that gold and then there's another little wire figurine sculpture thing that was actually brown and I spray painted that one gold this stuff here is called resto lulium <laughs> I don't know but it's from Walmart and it says that it bonds to plastic wood metal and so much more and it's that is so true this stuff holds on everything I spray painted the chair I spray painted I have another chair where the little spokes were silver and I spray painted those gold and it really lasts like it really does hopefully I gave you guys enough detail as far as ideas for your living space um, I feel like I've left out so much because I don't really plan my videos I just talk as I go um, but I really love my living room I feel like you know I started out wanting like a minimalistic type of living room but once I started to you know add more stuff it ended up just being kind of cluttered a little bit but it's still nice and clean the colors are very muted so it's not too much and I love the look of it because it's my workspace and it's our living room so I think I did a good job of making it chic modern but still homey and stylish at the same time and it still has a studio feel to it so I really love it um, but hopefully the ideas and tips that I gave you you can still make it your own but take some of these tips because all of the tips I gave you no matter what your style is you can still use them um, I think the most important thing when you're doing your living room or any space you need to um, you need to have a color scheme your color scheme should not be a whole bunch of colors um, I would stick like I said to one to three or one to four colors and really stick to them no matter if it's in different patterns or solids and definitely add some texture in there um, the other thing is have an accent metallic accents are my favorite which gold obviously is my accent and um plants always make it very very homey i think having greenery and flowers is a good thing to do all my faux fur, fur rugs that's a tongue twister all my faux fur rugs are from marshall's and target no marshall's and ross they have very inexpensive items there my pillows same thing only one of my pillows which is the gray one I got from Target but the white ones I got from Marshalls and Ross um I think that's it but thanks for the compliments you guys all right I'm gonna go now love you guys bye Mwah. love you guys Mwah.